Time for sports. I'm Chris Widlick. Football Friday night is back, at least for now. After weeks of uncertainty, most games are a go. High school players hopefully realizing that it could end at any time, so every night is senior night. And the Quakers took that to task, smartly hosting senior night. Athletes and their families taking in special moments on the field as they met Carmel on the football field. Quarterback Zachary Osborne fakes the handoff, pushes ahead, loses the ball, but lineman Buckland Robbins falls on it in the end zone for the touchdown. The Greyhounds up 7-0 on plain field in quarter number one. Carmel cranking up their ball control offense, too. Osborne finds Daniel Mullins. Nice game like that. Hit the Greyhounds on top all night long. Then, in the second, Osborne finds Colton Parker for the touchdown. The Hounds roll 31-6 over Plainfield. Groves of Warren Central was canceled, so the Trojans brought in Decatur Central. D.C. punting, and it is blocked. Up front, Caden Curry gets in the way, then scoops and scores. That's a big man in the end zone for C.G. And the Trojans are off and running. Back to the Hawks on offense, trying through the air. Intercepted by Jackson Shot. Trojans take over from there. And Mr. Football favorite Carson Steele rumbles in for the score. All Trojans all the time, 56 to 14. On the west side of Indy, a battle of purple powers. Ben Davis and Brownsburg pick things up in the second quarter. Brownsburg already up 14-0. Ben Easters goes deep. Dylan Holland is there. Touchdown, and the dogs are up 21-0. Ben Davis had its troubles. Pass to the sideline to Chris Williamson is intercepted. One of his two INTs coming off an ACL tear last year, so it's a nice bounce-back game for him. Brownsburg capitalizing. Cade Garner scores from 20 yards out. Look at this score. 38 to 7. The Dogs win in the Giants' home. Offense in the spotlight in Lawrence, where LN faced Avon. Top quarterback Donovan McCulley on display, as well as Avon's Henry Hessen. He flicks it to Wallace Stovall, who is off to the end zone. 71 yards for a big touchdown. This one in a shootout. It's 35 27. Wildcats come back. Allie Richardson barrels into the end zone from eight yards out. It's 42-27. Then it's McCulley keeping a play alive and floating it to Jaden Longest for another score. 48-27 at the halftime. It's all Lawrence North, 62-34. to A few miles away, Lawrence Central opening up the season against Hamilton Southeastern. Pick things up in quarter number one. Jace Alexander plows into the end zone. The Royals take an early seven-zip lead, and in the end, that's all they would need. Bears driving for the tying score on the other end, but Giovanni Raglan with the sweet interception along the sidelines keeps LC from scoring. The Royals drive it down the field methodically. Blaine Wirtz, another short HSC touchdown, and it's a shutout. Hamilton Southeastern 24, Lawrence Central nothing. Pike looking for a fast start, playing host to Zionsville. This one would go down to the bitter end. Devils trail 3-0, trying to get things moving. This won't help, though. Great pursuit. Otto Kyler tackled in the backfield. But no worries. Red Devils in the red zone. Anthony Chaldella to Chris Mitchell, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, Zionsville would get the ball back, trying to strike back, but the pass is tipped by the Devil defense. Joseph Jefferson hangs on, and Pike wins this one 26 to 24. How about a private school battle at Brebuff, where the hometown Braves faced rival Chittard? Opening possession, Trojans moving. Carter St. John, the quarterback, scrambling for a first down, dragging tacklers with him. He is determined to get that ball moving. St. John then lofts it up, and Thomas Coleman comes down to that wide open for a TD. Chittard strikes first. Well, Brebuff would answer back. Drake Hagerman connects with Braden Sanders on a nice scoring pass. Wouldn't be enough. Chittard pulls away 27-14 over Brebuff. How about Lutheran heading to Beach Grove Middle School to play BG? The Hornets home field not ready just yet. BG ball going deep. It's Gavin Mitchell to Jordan Murphy right into your living room. A 27-yard touchdown. It's 31-21, and this one was a real shootout. Their quarterback not done. Mitchell with the keeper, dives for the end zone. It's 31-28. Lutheran still leads at halftime. In the second half, it was all Saints. Blake White to probably the top pass catch of the day. Joe Fabian, toe-tapping grab. Lutheran rolls. Look at this score, folks. 66-35. to 
at Speedway. The spark plugs hosting the Tri-West Bruins to kick off the 2020 season. The Bruins up eight in quarter number three. Quarterback Kai Ross finds Bryce Hendershot near the right sideline, scoots in for the score, and the Bruins go up 21 to six. Well, Speedway responds. Senior Evan Owens finds Carson Harrison for a 16-yard strike, but this one belongs to the visitors. The Bruins roll 34-13. All right, it's time to catch our breath. When we return, our focus falls on the track. It's Indy 500 race weekend, and it's carb day of sorts. We check in on the final practice where the two-hour session became a passing fancy and a unique way for the pole sitter to prepare. Marco Andretti's carb day coming up.